My name is Jessica and I am the Organized Mama. I help families just like you with organizing tips, tricks, and tutorials. Hello and welcome to our playroom. We recently painted our playroom to give it a like really different feel. Because we have so many windows, I really wanted something that was deep, rich, and really inviting. We used Navel by Sherwin-Williams on this big wall and the entire ceiling. We painted the rest of the walls Agreeable Gray by Sherwin-Williams. So what we did to start this entire project was we used a laser level to create a line. Then we used frog tape to map out where that line would go around the entire playroom. Once that was done, we covered the entire floor so that my husband could paint everything from the line that we made with the frog tape all the way to the ceiling. Once that was done, we removed the frog tape and my trick for this is to create one long line using frog tape and then rip it off really slowly but kind of far away. Then we added frog tape to the blue line and then painted agreeable gray on the bottom. There was some touching up because we do have quite a few corners and you know we didn't get the tape totally in. That's okay because that stuff happens and it's just paint, right? We added a new chandelier to our playroom and then we topped it all off by creating a fun little canvas piece. We taped off the canvas using frog tape and then just got a bunch of different colored paints to create this fun little mural on a piece of canvas. Now, our playroom set up before, we had two Ikea Calyx shelves that we turned into benches. Well, we didn't really need the benches anymore, we just wanted the storage. So I placed one Ikea Calyx shelf on another and I used 3M Velcro strips to adhere them to each other. Then we added bins for all of the Legos we sorted them all by color because the kids really wanted to start putting together some of their old Lego sets that they had taken apart. So we sorted them all by color and used these Ikea bins to contain all of them based on color. If you want to see how I sort all the Legos, go to the link below to see that video. Now the kids have a spot for all their Lego creations, plus we have space for games and other toys that they want to keep upstairs. The room isn't totally complete because we still need to figure out seating and I'm thinking we're gonna need a new rug. But we added some really fun details to the space and I just love how it turned out. Like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know. Also, don't forget to subscribe. New videos every Wednesday.